All right. Yes, loving summer, uh, Jordan. But, you know, we're thinking of things that uh, folks can do that are fun with their kids, something mm -hmm. outside the box. And you did so good on those confetti cupcake cones. Thank you. And we've got that. that. But we've got more goodies. How about some crock pot chocolate today? Ooh, the peanut clusters. Yes, so my wife found this and the peanut clusters here. And what I like is simple. Simple is good. Mm -hmm. So just think about this. You just have the chocolate morsels, okay. the Reese's peanut butter chips, and any kind of wafers. Really, it said to use the vanilla, but you know I'm a chocolaholic. <laughs> uh, we did do ones, though. We, we did, did a practice with some run. vanilla, but right, I got the dark the chocolate. chocolate for this with our for, with ours today. And then the fourth ingredient, planters peanuts. Okay. Now, they say to add a whole jar. I like less crunch. If you like more crunch, just do add the whole thing. So we'll do, have you add a half okay. of these today. Okay, because we've already melted the chocolate. Yeah, I'll take the lid And off. so you do kind of just dump it all in, right? And Right, and, and I just sprayed a little ham there just so it doesn't stick. Okay. But it's very easy. That's the main thing, and look at that. So you don't want to do a full bottle this time, right? Right, I want just a little bit and of And if crunch. you have a peanut allergy, of course, you don't have to do the peanut butter morsels no, we would or do, the peanuts uh, themselves. Actually, the pretzels would work well. Ooh, that and would. And instead of the Reese's peanut butter chips, just double up on chocolate. You like could do I butterscotch. Do. Butterscotch would be I mean, fine. they've got plenty. I, they might even have caramel morsels, too. Mm. I don't know. But yes. this seems versatile. Like, you so could do many things. My only regret uh, for you not being I wish you could smell it this right smell now. It does smell good. <laughs> the whole building in the studio, just the aroma, just puts us all in a good mood. Now, yeah. yesterday when we were kind of practicing, you did mention that this should sit for an hour. Okay, that's key. It really? wants you just for about an hour on low. Okay. <laughs> Don't over, you can't burn this per se, but I left it in the pot for about three hours because I got busy doing something. You know how we are in tea, we're always running around. I've got tennis shoes on, we need to slow down. <laughs> so set a timer for an hour. And yesterday they came out okay, but you know, I like a smoother texture. Here, look, texture. the camera's can, right there. Here, give that? us that camera shot again. I don't know so, if you can tell they're not super smooth. Right, I'm into But boy, they taste delicious. They, I don't care, okay. I'll eat it. I'm just being picky, but you know. <laughs> it was delicious. But this morning, Jordan, look, yes. at this. look how much smoother this is. So do, do a little dollop for everybody. Okay, so we just got a little spoon here and we're just gonna put it on the parchment paper right. so it doesn't stick. And if you're impatient like me, put them in the fridge and they'll cool quicker. But right. once they cool, they're just smooth as oh the best gosh. chocolate. Oh my gosh. And the, yeah, they harden up nicely. But I don't know if you can see with that overhead camera that these are a they're lot different. smoother, they're smoother looking. That's what yeah. it is. You're so a texture person, so I thought I that would texture. matter for you. you so know why what, would though? you eat those and it because didn't bother you? Because this still tastes like any hard chocolate. It didn't ruin it. It really didn't. The okay. taste is still really, really good. That's good to know. Because you are picky with that. Oh. Mm. All right, I believe. This is my you. third one. You're not just saying that to be nice. <laughs> and they sat overnight, didn't they? <laughs> they did. In the office, but I don't good. care. They're so good. But it's these awesome. are going to be really good too. Right. So again, we've got lots of fun stuff to do this summer. Very in the easy. Kitchen. Uh, crock pot can't go wrong just make sure you spray it well and it was easy cleanup as well simple ingredients and send in your final product or if you have some cool things you want to add to this or have any uh, ideas my other oh, idea yeah, was give this because I like the fruit and eating healthy yeah you know all the fruit I bring in every day how about we just cover our raspberries and our strawberries Ooh. with this and we have just a little plate of that every we've day got well. lots of ideas we're gonna try so. and make your summer a little more fun mm -hmm. if you're at home, the kids are at home, and you need oh, yeah. a little something to do, especially if it's stormy weather. Yeah, this Abby, summer. yeah, so Abby can take a break from the pool and come inside, give her skin a break. My <laughs> goodness, she's, yeah. And eat some delicious eat food. Some so delicious I'm gonna keep doing this, uh, eating this. Thank okay. you, Mike, for the delicious food. You're recipe. very welcome, and of course, mm. for much more on this chocolate fun and crock pot chocolate, head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.